I'm Lauren Saracion Herrera, creator of the PVC 5x7 workout, and I'm here with Danny. And Danny is one of our clients who is um, going to celebrate her year anniversary of doing the 5x7 in 10 days. Thank you, Danny, for being here. Thanks for having me. So we're just talking about the workout. It's based on the five main barbell lifts of strength training. We do conditioning, and then we finish with the seven back Pilates exercises for twisting and side bending. So Danny, can you share with us a little bit about yourself first? Yeah, so coming into um, PBC, I was really struggling with my weight and my confidence. Um, I had recently been diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm. um, I was suffering with some depression and anxiety. And I was really hesitant to get started with strength training because it was so easy to hurt myself. Mm -hmm. So I... And we said, reel you in. We yeah. have to reel your face <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I started kind of slow. I started, I think, coming once a week. And then um, realized uh, how quickly I was getting stronger. Mm -hmm. And what a big difference that was making in the areas of my body that I was really having trouble with. Like having a sore back that I've had forever yeah. from an injury and headaches and uh, shoulder pain and things like that. So um, it very quickly became an addiction. <laughs> yeah, because she's like always here. <laughs> so like it's with, with strength training, <clears throat> um, a lot of the women who come here have never even touched a barbell. They've just yes. seen them. So what was, your, what was your level of experience with strength training before you got here? Not very much. I had done some um, on and off through the years. I, I would get a personal trainer. They would show me how to do, you know, leg presses or mm -hmm. the machine arm curls or something like that. And I've always liked the idea of being strong, but I always thought really, especially to lose weight and have the body I wanted, I needed to do a ton of cardio. Mm -hmm. And that was what I think kept pushing me off of staying dedicated to the gym and exercise in general because mm -hmm. I'd be staring at the clock waiting for those 15 minutes to yeah. end. Yeah. So I had been playing with exercise for quite a bit of time, but it was not until I found strength training that I realized those 50 minutes fly by. I wish there was more time, and I just feel and look great. Mm -hmm. And then I always like to say that the side effect of PVC right now for me is that I am strong. Like I can, I can lift all the groceries up from the car. I don't need to ask someone for help to get something off the top shelf anymore. Nope. Well, maybe because I'm short, so I might need to laugh. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, um, we, uh, in our last interview, Minette and I were talking about how, like, as a woman, we're subjected to all of this information about what we're supposed to look like and how yes. we're supposed to act. Um, have you seen any carryover of how strength training has maybe changed, how media has already programmed us? Have you felt any of those changes? Um, specifically, I would say that there's a conception or an idea that women shouldn't be lifting weights because they're going to bulk up and they're mm -hmm. going to look like man, a man and they're going to be have these huge rippled muscles and you're picturing mm -hmm. you know people that compete and for me it really has just burned the most fat it's given me yeah. a ton of definition and it's given me the strength that i was looking for um i definitely think that more people are coming on to the fact that lifting weights is going to be a great way to get in shape, especially for the people who, like me also, don't really like cardio. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that with more education, people are going to understand what the benefit it is. And I think especially, like you said, for someone like me that had a bad back, yeah. I never would have thought like lifting 220 pounds she does. <laughs> off the ground would make my back better. Yeah. And it does. Yeah. So, and, and I think probably part of that is that your hip had to learn how to be a hip. Yeah. Um, and our cues are the bend and snap yep. or make it sexy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all about the ass. Yeah. <laughs> about your ass. And who doesn't want that? <laughs> so now what about with flexibility? There's a lot of people who are all Pilates, are all cardio, mm -hmm. all strength training. So what was it like to get into a workout where we literally just like wove through everything? Like yeah. what was that like? Well, it was interesting because I had always focused on one or the other, you know, mm -hmm. I was either at the gym doing, like I said, like the arm curls or the leg presses, or I would spend three months in a Pilates or yoga class. And so I've kind of already been a little decent in both areas, but mm -hmm. to mix them, I think really complements itself really well because after you've been lifting and focusing on one or two muscle groups, those muscles really mm -hmm. want to stretch naturally. So it's very organic. And I love the way that being able to become more flexible, it's actually helped me with my strength training. 
and that I can lift things above my head at an angle I didn't use yep. to because my shoulders used to be so tight. Yeah, yeah. So that's such a perfect point because the, the reason why we do the seven mat Pilates for twisting and side bending is because those are like, we, we usually get hurt when we, when we twist and we're under load and load can be something that's quick or load can actually be something that's heavy. And so just to narrow down to the transverse plane, twisting and side bending, that's the fastest way to get a full body stretch. And it's just, it just makes you feel unwound. Yeah. You know, instead of just, I'm going to stretch here. Yeah. I'm stretch here. Well, it's technically <laughs> our cool off, you know, yeah. it's not even, it's not even like a difficult part of it. It's mm -hmm. something that feels good. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not when you go to a Pilates class and you're doing the hundred and your stomach's burning and you're dying. Mm -hmm. This is actually a way of incorporating those moves into something that uh, feels good, which I think is what it's supposed to do. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, do you have anything else? Um, no, I'm anything good. Anything else to add? All right. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. And um, you're probably you. actually going to be seeing this woman a lot in the future because we're converting her into a trainer. So, looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. All right.